Hey guys, we are back for another video. So let's just jump right in and not waste any of your time. So we know Diddy has had a slew of allegations with regards to women, judging from obviously Cassie um, and so many that I would have to go back and count. Just say it's been a bunch. We have not heard not one single word um, with regards to Young Miami, people have been speculating, like, why hasn't she said something? And when I say, why hasn't she said something? I mean, a simple phrase, I stand with women, I don't condone. We have not heard nothing from this girl, not one peep. Well, guess what? So she has finally come on to social media and I want to get into exactly what she had to say. But before we get into this story, I do need for you all to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you have not, please enable the bell notification so you do not miss videos. Um, again, hit that like button if you are enjoying the content. Go ahead and share the content. Um, make sure you are subscribed. And as always, let me know what you guys think in the comments. So we're gonna get into our intro and then we're gonna come back to discuss this particular video. I don't have any time for any gossip now. Right. Eh? Yes. So as we all recall, we have not heard a peep from Young Miami with regards to this particular situation. Not one word. We know that this whole thing started with Diddy with that 35-page document that Cassie filed because she was going to sue him. She had been, and her attorneys had been going back and forth with Diddy for the past year. Um, they could not come to an agreement. Remember, she wanted $30 million. They could not agree to a number, and therefore, Cassie filed her um, suit in court. Once that document was filed, it was made, made known to the public, and we know within 24 hours, this that suit was pretty much settled. Now we know that Casey, Cassie pretty much opened the floodgates because everybody was coming out basically saying that they too had been sexually assaulted by Diddy and had therefore went through similar situations. Well, we have not heard anything from Miami until this point. So Young Miami has come out and it looks like she is looking for sympathy from the public. You heard exactly what I said. This woman has not said one peep in support of woman's rights. She has not said anything in support of a woman, period. But she has now come out and she is looking for sympathy from those very individuals. So Young Miami has um, come out and again, she's looking for sympathy from the public. And fans are speculating that she's only doing this to take the heat off of her because again, this lady has not responded to anything. Again, she doesn't need to basically um, you know, condemn the man, Diddy, but she can definitely come out in support of, of, of a woman um, and in support of women's rights. But fans are speculating she's not supporting it or she's not coming out because she's very much involved in it. So she has come out basically and she has made a post basically asking the public for sympathy. In her Twitter post, she basically mentioned her son's father, who is now deceased and garnering sympathy. So she is being slammed by the public for basically making this post because the public is insinuating that she only made this post because she is looking for sympathy and she is looking to get the attention off of her for not responding to the claims of her so-called boyfriend and all that he is in the news for doing all of these ridiculous and nasty things to women. In the post that I have on the screen, Young Miami did tweet this, um, and this was on December the 1st, and it was 
obviously it says 9.03 p.m. Um, she says, damn, my baby daddy, which is BD, not here to celebrate life on his day. This shit hurt. Damn, damn, damn. Well, fans slammed her left and right because what they're pretty much is, um, is indicating is that, girl, you're only putting this on um, social media because you are looking to garner sympathy because you know that you are wrong. You have not spoken out with regards to the situation and all the allegations that your so-called man, boyfriend, P-I-M-P, whatever you call him, he has been sued. He has paid off somebody to prevent them from going to court. Allegedly, he paid Cassie $100 million and you have nothing to say about this. So she is being dragged on social media because people are calling her a liar and pretty much a manipulator. Because if we have not heard from you with regards to what this man has did to all of these women, but yet you come on social media looking for sympathy, but the women um, who has filed these claims and who are alleging that they have be, been R-A-P-E-D, you have no sympathy for them or you have nothing to say, but yet you come onto social media and you tell us that you wish that someone, um, your, your son's father who is deceased was here to celebrate like life with you, but now your heart is so broken. So fans are calling it bullshit. Nobody is buying what young mom, what young Miami is saying at this point, because it seems like she's trying to get out of the hot seat and she is just on here looking for sympathy with hopes that people will forget the role that she played in this. Well, we don't know if she was actually in on anything related to Diddy. A lot of this stuff that happened occurred before her time, but as a woman, people were just looking for a basic, I support women, but she has said none of the above. But then to go on her social media account and basically ask for sympathy, the fans are not having it and neither is the public. And honestly, from my you know, advantage point, I see her basically as well as looking for some kind of sympathy to basically get out of the hot seat. Think about it. When somebody is offering you sympathy, it's like this magic wand that comes over and you are relieved of all duties. I feel at this point, young Miami, she does not have an obligation, but I feel like as a woman, she has a daughter. Why wouldn't you feel equal sympathy as you will want someone to feel for you. But then now to come out on social media to try to get out of the hot seat and tell the public that she is hurting because she lost someone, but she feels nothing for women that says that they have been R-A-P-E-D um, by, um, well, Cassie actually said that he R-A-P-E-D her and then, you know, S-E-X trafficked her amongst other things. And now other women are coming out saying similar stuff, but she has no sympathy for them. She has released no statements. So I'm just not feeling this with young Miami and her heartbreak or whatever she says. I actually have absolutely no sympathy for for her because I believe that she is a monster as well. Um, Young Miami and I, you guys have to go back on my channel and watch the, pre the previous videos that I have posted. I have actually posted proof that Young Miami was very well aware of the type of shit that Diddy was involved in in because she took shots at Gina, which is another um, lady that he was dating that he allegedly impregnated and stomped her and done all kind of stuff. But young Miami insinuated that Gina was the one eating P-U-S-S-Y. So I don't have any sympathy for this girl. Um, 
and and I don't care about anything she's talking about at this moment because when you can't support a woman that says that she's been R-A-P-E-D by somebody that you are messing around with, I think that you are top-notch trash. So you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I will catch you in the next video.